All right, so repairs complete. Okay. Oh, it's set to auto tracking. God damn it. Let's see if I can turn it off. Oh, there we go. Cool, cool. Learned something new. Anyways, so <clears throat> you can see here, I put JB Weld on the back. Uh, first I ran, this time I ran the, um, the motor wire along the outside. Oh, that's going to be annoying as hell. Anyways, there. <laughs> the motor wire is coming along the outside of the boom, and then I put a sleeve of shrink wrap over top of that. And then at the end, I capped it all off with JB Weld. And, well, how are you going to get the JB Weld off? It's so hard. I, I know. I At this point, I'd probably just rip the whole thing apart, but no. I took, um, on the opposite side, I thinned out the JB weld right here, so I could either use a Dremel or cut it with either uh, a heat razor or, um, I don't think a straight razor would go through that, but it definitely should be able to do it with either a heat razor or a Dremel bit. But it's been, it's been thinned out pretty significantly along this edge here, and that way I can just peel it right off put in the replacement boom. But the whole point of all this was, is it gonna A, fly with the weight, and B, is it gonna it help absorb impacts better? Well, it flies just fine with the weight. I have my helicopter set. This one is set at a, I play with different speeds and different settings, but I find that for me, I like running this machine at 35% throttle and the curve on the pitch or sorry, the collective pitch angle to be um, plus and minus 70. 100 each way is just too much. It's just way too squirrely. And running this thing even at 50% power is just, in, it's just beyond me. It just, it's, it's too fast. So 35% throttle curve, even, and plus or minus 70 on the, um, on the collective and that gives me just just about right if i bump it up to 50 percent throttle i find with these micro heli blades there's just a slight tail it's not as bad as the s2 with the uh vulcan blades but enough that i don't like running it at 50 percent i'll take the longer flight time anyways so there you go and yes, as I said before, I'm done with the uh, micro heli landing gear. They're great if you're a professional and you're not crashing a lot. Fine, you want the um, you want the aesthetic look and being able to hit hard. These are not good. Even yeah, they're already starting to bend off my first flight. I just I hate the goose guy landing skids. You have to land all delicate or cut the power off. Uh, you know, a few inches off the ground and just let its own weight because these things just they can't take any impact at all. Um, I'm still a big fan of this mod, this upgrade right here. Hope I can get that to zoom in and focus. The, um, the tail boom clamp. So much better than the plastic crap that Goose Guy gave. Definitely. Um, people say that they don't like this carbon fiber one because it breaks too easy. Well, I haven't crashed to the point where it is, it's going to break or has even bent. But I definitely 100% dig this for pulling the boom in and out way better than the um, the, the plastic anti-rotation guide that they had for Goose Guy. So that is worth it. I'm still on the fence with these carbon booms. Um, for sure, the visibility and tracking is a serious downgrade. Um, if you're in lower light conditions, you know, you're getting towards uh, the end of the day. I was at the park and there was a lot of tree cover and so visibility wasn't that good and I actually lost the orientation. I didn't know if I which way I was facing left or right uh, when I was practicing hovering and uh, I ended up having to cut the throttle and just I don't know let it let it land and hit where it wants to. It, no damage, but it's because I lost orientation. This is so skinny that you just you don't that's all you get as a reference. And if it's dark, that's not a very good reference at a distance of, you know, 
50, 75 feet away. So overall, though, except for the big disappointment of the landing gear just being horrible at any kind of side impact, um, I still think this is going to work. Would I keep the old boom or this boom? Performance-wise, I don't think there was any difference whatsoever. But it didn't have a negative impact. I'm just waiting to see if this um, addition of JB Weld to reinforce the um, the tail here is going to make a difference or not. And if it does, cool. I'll let everybody know. And if it doesn't, you know, well, that's why I'm here to experiment. The micro heli blades. I have to go back to the old goose guy ones to make my final if I like them or not. I don't hate them. I mean, the Vulcan blades, I definitely hated. They were way too twitchy for me. These these seem to have... Uh, their, their hover point is better, but when they when they grip and actually get their lift, it, it this thing smashes up and down really quick. So I think these are for... Uh, gonna make for a higher skill on um on performance they're not bad blades are they an improvement over the goose guy originally? hey the goose guy ones are great so they are what they are anyways thank you